Jesus, has this bloke got any ducks on? Yes, yes, my man. He's on. <laughs> Safe to say that um, it was a full moon on the, on the way in. I mind doing a rescue. I want to get wet, so... Yeah, all right. We'll get... So I was sitting in the rhino with uh, Matty D down the southern end of the beach, and uh, we glanced over and noticed a uh, classic example of boogie board wrestling. Boogie board wrestling came about a couple of years ago when we just noticed abundance of uh, non-swimming tourists um, wrestling with their bodyboards to stay above the water. Excuse me, sir. Just hold on to your board. Hold on to your board. Hold on to your boogie board. As I was paddling out, a, a female surfer went over and just aided him while I got out to him and, uh, and was just holding him up with, with her surfboard. Wago Sun is on holiday from China. His wife photographs this chapter of their adventure from the safety of the beach. Oh, he, he is very happy, but he is uh, leaving me far. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> He can use my board. He's all right. I'll tell him. Come up here. Yeah. Give me this. OK, lay on your stomach. You're all right. Leave that. Leave that. Lay on your oh. lay on your tummy. On here. Face that way. Yeah, you're all right. Face, face front. Face the front. Face the front. Head at the front. Head up there. Head up there. I was finding it a bit difficult to get him on the board. He didn't seem to have very, very good balance at all. You get lay down on your tummy here, yeah, like this. Wrong way, wrong way, other way, other way. Head up the front, head up the front. It's Wago's first day in the surf, <laughs> and he doesn't appear to be a natural. Come here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you all right? We both had the best interest in mind, you know. He wanted to go to the shore, and and that's where I wanted to take him. But it was uh. It was just a bit hard to get him on the board. OK, on your tummy, here, head. No, 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 you are drown. You are drown. So after, you know, a bit of struggling, he didn't, he didn't want to get on the board, so we sort of just casually just drifted back onto the sandbank and eventually the waves just sort of washed us in and, uh, and he fell off a couple more times and, yeah, he was standing on the shore. He's running out of energy. Yeah, boys, user in. That guy's starting to panic. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, I'm done. Get to my. Hang on, buddy. Come on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It's a life-saving rescue. Yeah. But Harrison gets an unexpected response. Oh, don't spit my phone. Oh. And it was just like the blow off a whale, which went Phew. This big gasp of water just hit me in the face. Oh, get your breath back. Oh. 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 You good? Oh. You're right. Oh. Terry's noticed a man being held up by another swimmer. Drown. So when I get there, I need him to hold on to the rescue mount, but he, he has his teeth in his hand. Kind of concerned. I didn't want him to drop his teeth to the bottom of the ocean. And they're expensive, you know. I just said, mate, do you want, do you want me to hold your teeth? Here, give me your teeth. <laughs> Gee, yeah, he gave me his teeth. Oh, you okay? All right. Yeah, he's backwards. I like the backwards, Bruce. <laughs> okay, it's OK, it's OK. We get back closer to shallow water and, you know, you think you've got no more surprises up your sleeve and... His teeth just keep falling out, you know. I ended up holding his hand. I suppose it's a pretty emotional thing for someone that just been rescued and you're the one that rescued him and they don't really want to let go of you. It was it was quite quite the moment. Yeah, you're right. Just go. 
Looks like Harrison's going in down south corner as well. A woman is being kept afloat by surfers in Backpacker's Rip. Can we jump on here? Head lifeguard Hoppo observes from the beach. When you rescue someone, there's no real etiquette, there's no signage on the board that says the you know, correct way to get on the board. Lie down, lie down, lie down. Lie down, here we go, lie down. No, not like that. <laughs> the woman, Georgia, takes a laid back rescue technique, which could be referred to as the sunbaker. She's sunbaking on her back. And I just took her on board. I thought it was funny, and I knew when I was paddling in, there'd be a lot of commentary coming from that lifeguard tower. Make sure you stay close to shore next time, OK? Head lifeguard Hoppo witnessed the unconventional rescue. But Harrison has a chance to redeem himself. Then straight away, I had to go back out for another person. You right, buddy? OK? Hop on the board, mate. Hop on the board. Come here. I'll take you in. Harrison has a chance to show Hoppo that the previous rescue was just a one-off accident. That guy jumped on my board and straight on their back. It wasn't ideal, especially, you know, like, first, first time, you know, you're getting led away with it, but second time, alarm bells start ringing. I love it. That, that would only happen to Harrison. Best ever. Yep, the guy's in the same position. I love it. <laughs> this is gold. Harrison's trying out a new rescue technique this afternoon. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I think Harrison's going to be uh, on his own here. I think it's going to be a, a Kiwi technique, and that's all it'll be. His hands up. His hands up. Whippets rescuing a man desperately waving for help. He can barely stay afloat. Just relax. The lifeguard is coming out to you, sir. Alright, get it a bit more. Jump on, mate. Just get on and lay down facing that way. I feel quite bad, but I don't know you sit He's always like, babe, I'm going in the surf really deep. I'm gonna like mess about. Like, He's safe, but getting him back to shore is proving down, problematic. Down, then his girlfriend reveals lay some down. surprising information. He's like trained as a lifeguard. Lay down on your gut. Just, just can't get there. How is it an English lifeguard can get into a situation as bad as this? Whippet soon discovers he's been drowning in more than water. Uh, I say, generally, I'm, I would guess I'm in the top ten swimmers on, on this beach, but five or six points don't really have too much, of course. Do you want to see when they pull? Don't fancy putting my hand up again, going, oh, my lifeguard, come save me. That's probably not, you know, it's probably, probably a little bit embarrassing, I would suggest. This English lifeguard hasn't quite finished embarrassing himself just yet. What, what beach do you work at in England? I know, swimming pools. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. remind me not to swim in the deep end. <laughs> Worse off, this Chinese student, Kyle. He's helped on the Chapo's board by a volunteer lifesaver. The jet ski is back in action. But Kyle has a new problem. The rescue has torn his shorts off. Azza rescues Kyle's dignity. 30 metres offshore, Nicola spots Bondi's next victim. The man is physically large, so head lifeguard Hoppo calls the jet ski for backup. Get on. Get on. Get on. As Nicola's instructions are lost in translation, lifeguard and swimmer are quickly swept further from shore. I got to him and... I was trying to explain to him how to get on the board. He didn't really get it, so I tried to demonstrate, and he goes, oh, I see. And so he started hugging the board from underneath. <laughs> and I just thought, you know what, that's close enough, so. <laughs> Thank you. Min is from Taiwan. While his approach may be innovative, Min's underside board hug technique isn't helping him or Nicola make it back to shore. <laughs> 
as Hoppo picks up more swimmers nearby, Min is offered the express service with Mario. <laughs> But this doesn't go to plan either. He just was sunk like a stone. <laughs> After almost 10 minutes since he first got in trouble, Min completes the 30 metre journey back to shore. No worry, just a very tired because I, uh, I don't have a sight. Exercise in long time. Yeah. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Bad luck. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm going to relax. See you. <laughs> I wish I could go to relax. <laughs> Two young surfers offer their boards as buoyancy until Jackson takes over. You right? He was a bit surprised about all the commotion that was going on around him. Unaware that Jackson is in fact there to save him, the man is confused. It was quite tough to get him in because uh, there was definitely a language barrier. You sort of just got to use your hands and say, mate, you've got to get on this board, hey? Hop on! Hop on the board! Hey, brother, hop on the board! Finally, everything seems to make sense. Sometimes it takes longer than others, but we ended up getting him on. But then, Jackson discovers there's something foreign down under. Jesus, has this bloke got any ducks on? Yes, yes, my man, he's on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure whether these undies that he had on were like biodegradable or something, but there didn't seem to be much of them. It was safe to say that um, it was a full moon on the, on the way in. Um, <laughs> it was quite the sight. He just gave me a wave and uh, off we went our separate ways. One of the more difficult ones I've done, but here he is, he's coming in. Mate, have a go at those undies. I did see at the corner of my eye, his wife was fuming. She wasn't speaking English, but it was a universal tone of, I'm not happy with you and wait till I get my hands on you. He's in trouble, I think. The message didn't do him. White clothes in water, they don't mix well. 